Wiggles and I'm so sorry for falling off the bad wagon with Inktober for a little bit but if you watched my last video then you know that um, I have been dealing with some stuff and I'm going to get back on the bandwagon with videos and I have some ideas planned for Inktober but really quick I wanted to do um, a video that I've been wanting to for a while I want to do an art haul and actually got some cool art supplies because an art store just opened nearby, a real art store, and I was so excited. So I wanted to share some of that with you really quick, but I will be showing you all of my Inktober pieces because I finished it. Congratulations if you finished it too, and I'll be giving you guys some more updates and other videos. But other than that, I figured I'd take the week off, um, get better health-wise, um, and just relax, and just chill. But let's take a look at the art supplies that I got from this art day. So the art store that opened up by me is Dick Blick. And if some of you that don't know them, they are a good art supply store, kind of like Utrecht or kind of like Jerry's Artorama and they have good art supplies for a reasonable price. Now, this video is not sponsored by Dick Blick or anything. I was just really excited to actually have an art store and I've been having a rough time lately. And my mom's like, hey Kiki, there's Dick Blick. Let's go to the art store. I'll take you. And I was like, yes. So, I have a couple things that I got. As you can see, Dick Blick also bought Utrecht, which is the place where I first got a lot of my art supplies when I went to art school. And I think they also um, merged with Jerry's Artorama, but I'm not 100% sure. I got myself, I'm pretty sure that's it. Nope, I have one more. I got myself, no! <laughs> I got myself some more round brushes because as you can see, I'm super, super duper putsy, klutzy, and I lose them, so. And these are like the same brushes that I have. These are Utrecht brand and they're um, synthetic. So they're fake, it's not real, it's not real hair. And they're round brushes. And I got a two, a four, and a seven. Normally I use like a two, a four, a six, and an eight, but I like to keep getting them because I'm not very gentle with my brushes and I lose them and I'm always trying to find, what is this, a sebelet? the bullet, whatever. Um, yeah, and I'm always trying to use different kinds. And you never know, some of them hold more water so you can last, so you can get your stroke on longer. I don't know, don't pay any attention to me, I'm weird. Yep, got some new brushes, and these are usually cheap. They're only a couple dollars a brush instead of several. And I got this. I've actually been meaning to get the big mixed media sketchbook for some time now, but I haven't really needed it because I either had the smaller one and then I actually found the watercolor one and I wanted to try it. But I've been meaning to get a larger sketchbook because I wanted to move up just a little bit in size from my normal like seven by 10 or a seven by nine that I have been doing. So it's just a little bit bigger because I love the mixed media sketchbook so much. I wanted to get just a little bit larger and they have it there for reasonable price. So this is going to be my next sketchbook for sure. And of course I had to get some more Polaris color pencils. It's been a long time since I've actually gotten the pack, the 12 pack. I got these like two years ago when Tori or Juicy Ink told me to get them and she said start off with the 12 pack because you don't know if you'll like them and now these are all I sketch with and normally you'll actually find me sketching with the rose colored pencil which is actually not even in here which is a problem. Is this in here? Yes, it is. It's hiding. No, it's red. No, I didn't even get the one pencil that I wanted. Oh boy. But if you are looking to try cold erase colored pencils out, I really suggest you get these or the 24 pack because you get a little bit more colors and um, it's 
I, I finally, I find sketching in these to be way less intimidating than using graphite and they blend really well with my watercolors and they erase nicely and I was gonna just buy a whole other pack of rose ones and purple ones on Amazon but they raised their prices. They're catching on to us. And I didn't have enough time to like just sit and dick lick for, for 500 years like I wanted to, looking for just like individual packs of these or just individuals of them. So I was just like, ah, just gotta get this and I'll use them all. But love, 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 love these. And another thing that I got, I'm about, is I got a gold pen touch gold thing. A lot of artists accent some of their pieces and their illustrations with gold. This is another thing that Tori had me try to do back way when, like a couple years ago when we'd meet at Barnes and Nobles and sketch. If you don't know who Tori is, Tori is Juicy Ink on here and Tori and Zero Zero. I just miss her. I talk about her all the time because uh, just seeing the stuff brings up fond memories and she always experimented with this and I wanted to as well put some gold some gold stuff in some of my sketches and see where that takes me for like accents and stuff. I also got this um, different kind of white gel pen. It's a Gel Extreme Pastel White Gel Pen um, because the past couple Signa, Ball, Signa Uniball gel pens that I have have been like kind of weird and I just want to experiment and try new things. I also got a couple of new watercolors. I got this one, and this one, and this one. Now, these are Winsor Newton Cotman. Uh, before, when I would buy watercolor tubes, I would buy Utrecht, but Utrecht got big for its britches. So now they're bigger than this, but they're more expensive. But Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors are mm, just a couple dollars a tube and honestly these tubes will last you for years and this is more like student grade so when I paint I have to use a couple more layers but that's okay I'm willing to do that I wanted to get a black because before I just had Payne's gray and it took me a long time when I actually wanted to make a black piece to um or use black in my piece to add paint gray because it's more of like a blue light gray to make something really dark. And then permanent rose was an acrylic color that an old professor of mine uh, introduced me to and I wanna get, you guys know that I'm addicted to warm color palettes, especially purple, especially red hues, and I wanna see what permanent rose can bring to my color palettes when mixing. And this is cadmium orange hue um, this is this and cadmium yellow are basically um, base cheat skin tone. <laughs> Our professors used to get angry with us and want to mix skin tones without using this. But this is basically a very good base, um, basically a very good base, 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 base um, to use for any kind of skin tones to start this out with this orange and either add blues or reds or purples and just just little bits in that. So just some nice extra little basic color for this. But, 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 what I'm really super duper excited about that I was able to get a couple of more of while I was there is some Copic markers. If you guys know before Inktober started, I splurged and I found these pastel, this pastel set on Amazon for like $25. And I've always wanted to try Copics because um, watercolor takes a lot of time to dry and while I love it, I always see how much fun everybody's having with markers and the convenience that they have in using them uh, because they dry so quickly. So if I um, want to make a piece and I don't have a whole lot of time or I'm just, you know, pressed for time and I just want to do stuff. So I got a couple of colors that I thought I would use more often than not. The pastel colors, obviously, I would use the most. And then I wanted to get one of each pigment. So, like, I do a lot of pastel things, um, a couple of different variant skin tones, and then also a couple of different darker colors that I may need. I'm still really, really new to this. And I got the, um, 
I think the, they're called the Chow Kiao Twos, I believe. Dot Twos. But they seem to be like the same exact thing as the other Copics, but I really don't know anything. But I'm just really excited that I was able to get them. And that, oh, I got this one, this, this gray for Inktober. I've actually been using it. I haven't used any of these except this one for Inktober. I was like, I'm using this so I could use it and get that little darker shade tone, but I'm super excited to start getting Copics and try using other mediums. But if you guys ever get a Blick Art Materials in your area or Utrecht, I'm pretty sure Blick and Utrecht joined together. I don't know if they bought out Jerry's Artorama, but they have amazing art prices for all the things that you want and they have good art supplies. Michael's just when they do have good art supplies, they tend to overcharge for like silly things. Oh my gosh, stop it! It's my dad, I'm sorry you guys. Just pretend you didn't hear those. Anyways, I wanted to share that art haul with you. I've wanted to make one for quite some time. Um, I don't really go out and buy a whole lot of supplies, but uh, hopefully you like this video. Um, I will hopefully be feeling better soon. And don't you worry about me. I hope you had an amazing Halloween. Hope you're having an amazing week. And I will see you in the next video. Leave me a like if you enjoyed this video. And a comment down below. Have a wonderful week, you guys. Bye-bye. Phoebe's not ready to let go of Halloween yet. Because she's too busy being Phoebe S. Pumpkins. Right? Any questions? She's Phoebe S. Pumpkins, man. It's been a little bit since I've made a video and I'm really popular right now. This is Phoebe's Pumpkins. Any questions?